Hi and welcome back to my time lapse series. This one is a railway bridge, yet again from Metcalf. I do enjoy doing these card kits, the laser cut ones. I find them very easy. I think the instructions are very straightforward. Um, doing this one, due to the fact on the layout there's going to be an incline, there's going to be a raised section of track. And I wanted a nice little road going underneath the railway. So I've got this to fit in between. So we'll see how we get on with this one. And let's see what the end result's like. Okay. Right, so that's this bridge now built. I've got to say, I think it's an excellent kit. The detail is very good. And the sturdiness of it all is fantastic. I've not done that bit because that's where the track's going to go. This bridge is going to be for the two inner lines. Apologies if anyone can hear the dog snoring. So it's going to go on the layout. It's going to have, like I say, the two inner lines are going to be running across the top of that. They're not going to be raised all the way around, it's just going to be an incline. Um, and then it's going to come back down again. But I've got to say, I am very happy with this model. Now, I do like the Metcalf kits, but I do find that they are dated. They're not really very well for a modern layout, for the build, um, for the shops, that sort of thing. And I do think as well the downloaded ones that you can get off the internet, I do think they cater more for the more modern layout and for more detail for the shops. I don't think the Metcalf ones do suit that. They really do need to increase the range of, a, uh, of buildings that you can get that are non-railway related. But the railway ones, I've got to say, do actually fit the, biz the bill. So, I do have to say, I am very, very happy with the way that's turned out. The only thing I don't know is how to balance the track on cardboard. But anyone got any ideas? That'd be great. Anyway, that's it for this one. Thanks very much for watching. Take care.